Who in their right mind would think that you could leave school when you were aged 15 without any formal academic qualifications and then successfully carve out a career in Australia? G'day, my name is Rob Messenger. I left school when I was 15. I don't have a degree or any formal academic qualifications. However, I have carved out successful careers in the military, small business and media. In 2004, my career with the ABC was interrupted when I was elected to Queensland Parliament. And using the skills that I'd picked up with the ABC and other media organisations and the theatre, I've led political teams who have helped many, many people, workers in great need. Can I get you to state your name, please? Yeah, Tony Hoffman. And what position are you, Tony? I'm the nurse unit manager of the intensive care unit, coronary care unit at Bundaberg Bass Hospital. Tony, do you want to claim whistleblower status? Yes. And do, would you like to claim whistleblower status anonymously? Yes. Tony, you've come to me because you be, have you come to me because you believe that um, Dr. Patel is incompetent and is killing people? Yes. Well, Dr. Patel was putting in these catheters for the renal patients until it was discovered that he had a hundred percent complication rate. In that hundred percent of the patients that he op operated on, either got an infection or some other complication. Dr. Miak will not let Dr. Patel operate on his patients at all, and neither will Dr. Strawn anymore. The nursing staff say they feel physically sick every time they see Dr. Patel walk into the unit because they know that whatever he touches is going to stuff up and the patients are going to suffer for it. Does Dr. Patel have the confidence of um, your fellow professionals? He doesn't have the confidence of the, of the doctors or the nurses. So, like, and if nothing's, what can you do? Like, and that's why I guess I'm here um, asking you, who has nothing to do with the hospital whatsoever, to try and do something mm. to save these patients from this man. And it sounds all very melodramatic. You know, we don't know what to do. Yeah. Okay. We'll leave it there. Mm. I know what to do. I mean, we, we do not know what to do. The deaths senseless and avoidable. Most people forget that over the two years, there were at least 87 deaths and that he treated 1,500 people. But disgraced surgeon Jane Patel has been sent to jail for killing just three and maiming another. It's never all sailed smoothly, but it never does when you're genuinely rattling the cage. Of the matter. So really it's up to the minister to deal with it. He will deal with it. Uh, there were suggestions earlier on, particularly from Mr Messenger, who I note was a, a former Member of Parliament and has been somebody who's uh, prepared to say and do a lot of things at times that are quite devoid from reality. Um, uh, I, just point, I, point, I just point that out and remind people of that, but I'm confident the Minister will sort it out. Do you think a royal commission would be devoid from reality? No, I'm saying there's no, there's no need for that. I'm saying Mr Messenger has made wild claims in the past. He's made wild claims on this occasion. Um, we've got a CMC report that requires actions to be taken. Over the years, assisted by amazing people, colleagues, family, friends, I've been able to help change the course of Australian history for the better. Have you? Good. Then with your help, I can resume my ABC, my interrupted ABC career, and do what I love best truthfully telling Australian stories and working as part of a team of dedicated professionals who also would like to change the course of Australian history for the better.